morning to ya. We woke up super early to leave the dry tortugas and head back to Key West. It poured the entire time. Thank goodness mom volunteered to drive so I could stay dry. The clouds finally started to clear up as soon as we got close to Key West. I called the order to take the sail down so we could motor into the anchorage. I was the first one in the dinghy as usual. I'm not sure what takes these two so long to get ready. It's like they think we live on island time or something. I finally got them loaded up in the dinghy and we headed to the dinghy dock. We saw so many cool boats along the way. It's always fun looking at other people's dinghies. They all have so much character. After a long passage, it's always nice to get back on land. Every place we go to is also different from each other. It's so cool checking everything out. It's almost time. I've heard so much about all the crazy people in Mallory Square. I can't wait to check it out for myself. There was all kinds of musicians, magicians, and even some balancing acts. The next day it was time to head back to Marathon. We saw a bunch of shrimp boats getting checked by the Coast Guard. I know how they feel. Did I mention that it's very cold? They all are wearing beanies and jackets. All I have is my fur coat. But that's okay. I like to snuggle up and get some of their warmth too. It's been a long day of cold sailing, but I think we're almost back. We made it back just in time. We got the very last mooring ball. After we secured the boat, we brought the dinghy in and we took a trip to the Dolphin Research Center. Here they have a family of California sea lions, Atlantic bottlenose dolphins, and even one of my friends from the Bahamas, a spotted dolphin. I know what you're thinking. Why are these guys not in the wild? But all of them have something that prevents them from living on their own. One of them was even bit by a bull shark. Poor guy. <laughs> I know you humans don't speak dolphin, but they told me they liked it here. The trainers are learning a lot about behavior and brain activity, stuff that they wouldn't be able to learn in the wild. But it's also stuff that will help the wild dolphin population. I couldn't film any of the research sessions, but I got to film a lot of playtime. This was an awesome way to end our keys adventure. From here on out, we're heading back to Jupiter to get ready for the Bahamas.